You know, Parker, you're unpredictable. This is not the direction I want us to go. But I thought you lived this way. No, I mean direction in life, Parker. I don't want us to start dating. Well, what's wrong with us dating? We study together all the time. Well, that's different. That's because I need your help in science. You're the only man I know who can remember everything about protons, neutrons, and alpha rays, gamma rays. I guess I simply glow on the subject of radiation. I don't know why. It uh, must be in my blood. Precisely. You're a natural student. But dinner with you would be a date, and dates are for boyfriends. Please don't be offended, Parker. Oh, but Felicia, why can't you think of me as a boyfriend? Spider says, danger. I have enough men asking me out, but a good tutor, that's hard to find. Parker? Peter? He walked away from me. Who does he think he is? Well, at least things ought to be quiet for a while. Hey! Parker! I've been looking all over for you. You know, you really made me angry the other night, walking away like that, but... But? I guess you were trying to tell me that sometimes I'm a little difficult. I can deal with that. You know, Parker, you're unpredictable. I find that interesting. No kidding. Does this mean we can have dinner together? No, maybe lunch. Ciao. Maybe lunch? I think she's starting to like me. Yep, life's definitely full of surprises. I assure you, Miss Hardy, this charity ball is just as important to me as it is to you. That's why I'm sending my mm, very best photographer. Hmm, who might that be? Felicia Hardy. Peter Parker? You know him? We go to college together, Parker. You're just as unpredictable as ever. Mr. Jameson says you're his best photographer. He does? Mm, my very best. You point, you shoot. No big deal. Well, this charity thing is a big deal, Parker. Miss Hardy's mother is sponsoring it, and I'm hosting it. Think you can take pictures of something other than Spider-Man for a change? Well, call me Mr. Versatile. I'm sure you won't disappoint me. No way. See you there, then. Robbie, see if you can find Eddie Brock. He's supposed to have some big scoop for me, and I... Parker, your mouth's open. Flash, everything's working out so well tonight. Jameson was... Felicia? Peter Parker. I wonder who his hot date is. Isn't it incredible? Just like I told you, that's his date? I think it's sweet. I wonder who she is. You should have brought Mary Jane, Anna Watson's niece. <laughs> A blind date? Come on, Aunt May, I... Parker! You look incredible. Uh, Aunt May, uh, this is Felicia Hardy. Very nice to meet you. Mind if I borrow your nephew for a dance? Well, I... Uh, Felicia, I should be taking pictures. And I should be dancing with Flash Thompson. I could have had some boring blind date instead of this. Yeah, right. You're a good dancer. I'm surprised. Well, a lot of things about me would surprise you. I love surprises. See what you think of this one. You! You're ruining everything! Leave her alone! You want to dance with somebody? Dance with me! First the dolt, now the coward. Coward? I, I was only trying to... You abandoned me! Spider-Man had to save me. If you were half the man he is... Peter, I was so worried about you. And I was worried about you too, Aunt May. I'm just sorry you had to see all this. Well, actually, it was kind of exciting. Now, dear, about that nice girl I want you to meet. Yeah, I'm sure Mrs. Watson's niece has a very nice personality, Aunt May, but I hate blind dates. Okay, Aunt May, if it makes you happy, you can tell Mrs. Watson that I'll take her niece out, yeah, but just this one time. Yeah, okay, bye. Blind dates are like the lottery. The odds are so stacked against you, you're nuts if you expect to ever hit the jackpot. What a night. Oh, I'm battered, bruised, and to top it off, my costume's torn. And what do I get for all my troubles? Nothing. Life never seems to have any big reward for me. <sighs> the worst thing about a secret identity is that you can't ask someone else to do your sewing. Peter, I hope you're getting ready for your date with Mary Jane Watson tonight. My blind date. I completely forgot. Oh, why not just let Smite's bugs eat me? <coughs> uh, I'm not feeling too well, Aunt May. Well, you do feel warm, but... She'll be here any minute. That's her. 
go answer the door, Peter. <sighs> Don't I get a last meal? Face it, Tiger. You just hit the jackpot. Uh, Hi, it's me, MJ. I'm not calling too early, am I? Mary Jane? No, 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 I've been up for hours. Then maybe you can tell me why non-planetary masses don't exert gravitational forces. Uh, actually, they do exert gravitational force, but it's so minute. <laughs> I knew you'd be the one to call. Bet you can answer this one, too. Why do theater majors have to take physics? Uh, sorry, you'd need Einstein for that. Maybe I should see if he's busy Friday night. Actually, uh, Friday? I've got a physics test next Monday, and I've been so busy rehearsing for the Classics Festival that... Peter, this is where you're supposed to jump in and say, MJ, I'd love to help. Maybe we could see a movie, too? A movie? Uh, hold on a sec while I check my schedule. Yes! Yes! Uh, tight schedule, MJ, but uh, I think I can make it. Great! See you then. Oh, and Peter, try to wear matching socks this time. Whoa! She doesn't need tutoring. No, not really. I must have made a better impression than I thought on our blind date. What? Peter? Just wanted to make sure you're still alive. Mary Jane. Oh, no, our date. I, I forgot. You sure know how to make a girl feel important. Uh, look, if, if it isn't too late... Sorry. In my league, it's one strike and you're out. But... A riddle, Mr. Parker. What do I have in common with Spider-Man? Uh... You both look good in skin-tight outfits? No. We both haven't been ourselves lately. Care to walk me to class? Sure. Look, I'm sorry for hanging up on you last night. And I'm sorry I forgot our date. Still want help with your physics? Nay, good sir. To paraphrase an ancient playwright, she who learns must study. So I did, and I passed my test. Congratulations. Thanks. My class is in here. Gotta run. But you know, physics is a lot like theater. I get it now. It's all about making sense out of life. Once I realized that, it was easy. I can't believe it. A date with Felicia Hart. Finally. Oh, sure. I'm only taking her to a new science exhibit as her physics tutor. But after that spider slayer business, I didn't think she'd ever let me see her again. Who's there? Uh, Peter Parker? I'm here to... Relax, Parker. Felicia's just a simple, sweet, regular girl with a front lawn the size of Central Park. So, uh, when does this place apply for statehood? Maybe I should have worn a suit. O or at least a new shirt. Come in, Mr. Parker. I'll announce you. Yep. Definitely a new shirt. Wow. Aunt May's whole place could fit in this one room. And there'd still be space for the jets to hold a scrimmage. Parker! How sweet. You brought flowers. Thank you. Oh, uh, it's nothing. <laughs> so, uh, where's your mom? Parker. She's out buying a new yacht. Well, what happened? The old one get wet? <laughs> Shall we take the convertible? It's kind of chilly out, but I'll keep you warm. I'll get a jacket, if it's all the same to you. Peter! Even Parker didn't deserve that. Uh, you... you heartless freak! Freak? I'm merely the victim of an accident. And anyone can have an accident. Don't touch her! How can I ever thank you? Well, this seems like a pretty good way. Oh, no. Peter! 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 Oh. Oh. Are you okay? Sure. Fine. Some date, huh? That's one way of putting it. You Want to give it another try? Well, Parker, you have to understand something. I don't usually allow myself to be taken hostage on a first date. I respect that. 
I gotta get going, Aunt May, or I'm gonna be late to the plaza. I feel like an undertaker in this outfit. You look very handsome. Now, you tell Mary Jane that I'm so sorry I couldn't make it tonight. Do you have the invitation? Good. It was nice of her to invite you to that jungle animal show. It's the Animal in You fashion show, Aunt May. I don't think there are any real animals or jungles involved. Bye, Peter. Peter, I'm so glad you made it. And you look great. One minute warning, Mary Jane. Okay. I'm sorry, Peter, I have to go. Let's skip the party afterwards and get a bite to eat. Just you and me, alone. Really? Uh, great. A theater student, student at ESU. ESU. Mary Jane, Jane looks stunning, stunning in this faux leopard skin print. Wow, that outfit brings out the animal in me. Huh? Felicia Hardy? Parker, what are you doing here? Uh, my aunt gave me her invitation. What are you doing here? This is a Hardy Foundation event. Oh. Mother's the chairperson and I'm helping her. This is a wonderful surprise. You can take me to the party later. Uh, yeah, uh, but... We'll talk. I've got to run. I'm supposed to go out with Mary Jane after the show. Parker? Why is he leaving? There he goes with that disappearing act again. Ooh. Yeah, okay, bye-bye. Oh, what a beautiful, happy ending. I feel like I'm trapped in a Danielle Steele novel. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't the hero supposed to get the girl? I saved the city from Jungle Boy, and I'll be lucky if Mary Jane or Felicia ever speak to me again. Not to mention the fact that the Animal Kingdom walked all over my costume. Never again do I get in the middle of a lover's spat. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. Parker? Is that you? Well, lately, I'm not so sure. I almost didn't recognize you. You seem so, so different. You don't know how different. But then again, maybe you'd like to find out. Peter, tell me what's going on. Lost him. Who are you talking about? Mary Jane, do you trust me? What are you... Do you trust me? Yes, I think I do. Then just do as I say. And don't ask me any questions. Please. Okay. Listening to me. Huh? Oh, sorry. I was just admiring the stars. You were saying? I said, looking up at the sky on a night like this, it's easy to believe that we're not alone. I wonder what's out there. That's exactly what I was wondering, too. Peter, what a beautiful place. I just hope you two bachelors don't ruin it with day glow velvet paintings. Oh, and I suppose your place is going to be filled with war halls. Please, Hockneys and Motherwells. <laughs> no offense, but you and Harry could be busted any minute by the design police. Lucky for you, I'm here to help. Mary Jane. I was worried. I had to come. Thanks. Has there been any word from the police about Harry? Nothing. This is all my fault. There wasn't anything you could have done. How is she? Peter, there's no change. Mary Jane, I, I really appreciate your staying. Peter, you don't have to thank me. It means a lot to Aunt May, and to me. Thanks for staying, Mary Jane. I know you're busy moving out and all, so... I'm not moving, Peter. You're not? I thought I wanted to, but after this, now I'm worried about leaving my own aunt alone. So I can wait. Peter? Aunt May! Oh, we were so worried about you! Oh, it was such a shock. Don't worry. The Hobgoblin's gone now. The Hobgoblin? Oh, who's talking about that? It was your apartment, dear. I've never huh? seen such a mess. Oh. I don't think you're ready to live on your own yet. I think you're right. Just the man I was looking for. Peter, I'm understudying the lead in the Shakespeare Fest tonight, and I've saved you a seat. Will you come? Mm. I'll take that as a yes. Peter, why'd you do that? I had to. What made you think I'd let you? I took a gamble that Peter Parker was the luckiest man on Earth. I'll get it, Aunt May. Oh, Mary Jane. Thanks for not coming to my play as you promised. As I promised? And don't you ever kiss me that way again. What kiss? The chameleon. Oh, no. Mary Jane, wait! I can explain! But 
at least I, I think I can explain. Okay, maybe maybe I can't explain, but wait, wait, oh, just listen, listen to me. Hold on a second. I was...